Hello world, welcome back to Hoss's Negotiator. Uh, we are starting career year three, and for the first time we have a stressor card. We have, it is a Valerie stressor, so let's take a look. Your relationship with Valerie grows, despite your intention to end it before it ever got off the ground. One day, while you are having a drink with Valerie at Chop's happy hour, your sp spouse walks in. Our options are, it's not what it looks like, or I screwed up. I mean... It's, I'm not doing anything wrong. You know, we're, we're just friends. I'm teaching her. It's not like I'm actually cheating on my wife. So we're going with, it's not what it looks like. You know I'm not stupid. How could you? Your spouse exclaims before storming out. Gain stressor spouse and gain stressor Valerie. So, take one of each of those. Apparently my spouse is a cake. A little bit out, but okay. Um, and then, negotiation impacts proceed to this year's career event. Okay. Career year three. Everyone in law enforcement wears a camera now. It is required. Assume someone is always recording, you've been told. Well, today you are glad you had it on. Accompanying a lead detective to question a witness, you were ambushed and accosted by the lead suspect in the case. The camera clearly showed him attacking you first, but your response was by the book and effective. Now the suspect is claiming police brutality, and the suspect's lawyer wants the tape. We have, your superiors want to put up some red tape, go along with the plan, or you have nothing to hide, give them the tape now. I have nothing to hide, let's give them the tape. As one might expect, the lawyer tries to spin it and work with some less scrupulous news outlets to turn public opinion against you. It remains to see if their evil plan will work. Oh man, evil. Take stressor legal. Okay. Find one of those. We have a legal stressor. Actually, let's shuffle those a little bit, just in case. There we go. Take a legal stressor. And then plus one career stress, that's a five, uh-oh. Minus one personal stress, that's back down to two. Crisis, draw a campaign abductor. You may choose to take the call or let one of the other negotiators handle it. If you let a colleague handle it, the year ends and there have not been any hostage negotiation events. Take stressor, colleagues. Okay, so we're gonna take it. So let's find out who we are going up against. Today's abductor is, ooh, the Seavers. We got a, I almost said DLC one. Um, we have uh, an abductor pack one. I'm gonna work on getting that set up. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So we were playing against the Seavers. This is abductor pack six. Uh, we have some interesting changes with this one. So first of all, we have two abductors, uh, special rules for each, I'll go over that. We have some special conversation cards um, one's a fr one free one, one one cost, two two cost. For these are supposed to be uh, what's your name? Sandra Seaver, uh, Clyde's ex-wife. And then instead of so, there's only as of right now there's two hostages to rescue. Um, the Seaver boy and the Seaver girl, and we are searching for them in the swamp. So, yeah, let's read the cards. So, oh, I forgot to get out of escape demand. Okay, there's our escape demand. Uh, so yeah, Clyde, so let's read the bios. So, Clyde Seaver. Clyde Seaver lost custody of his two children when his wife, Sandra, divorced him six months ago. Last month, while the children were visiting him during the weekend, he vanished with them. Today, he was spotted at a convenience store where he's now holed up threatening to kill himself rather than go to jail. Worse, there's no sign of the children. Could Clyde's older sister, Tina, be hiding them on her land in Becker Swamp? And then we have Tina Seaver. Tina Seaver is Clyde's older sister, a survivalist and recluse who calls the wilds of Becker Swamp her home. When her little brother showed up on her doorstep with her niece and nephew in tow, Tina was understandably concerned, but the Seavers have always stood together through thick and thin. 
Clyde's been off on a supply run for a very long time, however. Now Tina's starting to think it might be time to take the children and disappear. So in terms of special rules, when resolving the kill hostage thing, ignore the effects. Instead, Clyde commits suicide and is eliminated. If resolving rescue hostage and both Seaver children have not been found, instead reveal one of these tiles on Becker Swamp. Uh, for Tina Seaver, place this card next to Clyde Seaver during setup. The second in command card is not used. Tina is considered in play but may not be captured or eliminated while Clyde is in play. However, if Clyde is eliminated and either or both of the Seaver children have not been saved, Tina flees with the unsaved children. You lose. Okay, so. Start at level three. No hostages. Um, no, two dice. Let's go. So. Um, let's figure out what the demand is. I just like having those reveal. One success. Okay, reveal the demand. Skip demand secret passage. When the last hostage leaves the hostage pool, make a threat roll. Add one die to the roll for each red terror deck still in the terror deck. Max five dice. If the roll is failed, the, the abductor escapes. Uh -oh. yeah, okay. Um, let's keep cool. Always like keeping cool. Got one success, so threat goes down by one. Let's do some small talk. One success, so we get two conversation points. Um, and let's stop there. Okay, so put these up there. Um, for the two conversation points, I'm going to get Clyde, please, I beg you, which is useful for revealing some. Uh, revealing some things. So I'll take that. Put it here. Put the zero card cost cards back over there. And let's take a look at our first terror card. Help from the locals. Reveal a tile. Ignore the effects of Tina is spooked. So let's reveal. Tina is spooked. Cool. So nothing happens. It's a pretty good way to start. Round two. Okay, um, let's try keeping cool again. No successes, so minus one conversation point. Um, I'm going to put that down, upside down to get one. Um, Let's do Clyde, please, I beg of you. Just tell me where the kids are and we can get past this. What you're doing isn't fair to them. So let's see if this works. Reroll that, unfortunately. Er, no, I, what I had said was only reroll with the hostage pool. Didn't say that. So we get one success. So reveal the tile. There's nothing here. Okay. So nothing happens as a result of that. And let's do some small talk. Try to get some conversation points. We got a four. We have one card left, so we can't convert. So nothing happens there. Keep this in our hand. Um, we have no conversation points, so we just get the free ones back. Put these away. So not the most productive turn. Let's see what happens on the terror deck. Let's raise the stakes. Roll a die and add hostages to the hostage pool as follows. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. A six is okay. We add one hostage. Okay. So. Doing okay. Not too bad. But I think we still need to keep cool. Got to 
version. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, use get her out of here. And what are your demands? Convert that. So that brings us down into three dice territory. And let's try to get some small talk. One success. Can't convert. We have no more cards. One success. And what does that do? Wait. <laughs> Two conversation points. Okay. So let's take Clyde, please, I beg of you again. And then our free ones. Just because, yeah, I want to get those revealed as quickly as I can. So we can start saving people. Terror time. Oh no. This is all your fault. Well, let me turn. Okay, so no hostages killed. Clyde commits suicide. Um Tina flees with the children, and that is it. Well, that, yeah, let's go ahead quickly. Um, so let me just check a quick rule. Okay, um, I couldn't find the ruling online, so I'm just going to rule of ambiguity. So yeah, two kids disappear, never to be seen again. Um, Tina isn't really crazy, so this hostage actually gets away. But yeah, so that that didn't go well. Let's write our stuff. Saver loss. One is eliminated, one escaped. But yeah, they're not going to come back because it doesn't make sense to just run across them again. Especially because, yeah, there's only one Seaver now. Um. Yeah, one hostage is kind of left there, so kind of one. And then they weren't killed, but they escaped, they were taken away. So, yeah. Okay. Let's quickly tidy this up a little bit. Okay, so now that that's all tidied up, um, let's move on to our personal event. Oh, uh, while I was separating up the tarot cards, apparently only one of the four specific tarot cards actually made it into the deck in the end. That's interesting. Personal event. You decide to start a charity in the name of the fallen victims of past negotiations. I certainly had a lot of those. You hold a fundraiser and invite all of your friends and family. The turnout is great, but then an aged man approaches you. My son survived a rack. He survived Afghanistan, but he didn't survive the hostage situation in his own darn hometown because someone like you didn't do their job. Don't think that raising a bit of money is going to erase the deaths you've allowed on your watch. I mean, he's not wrong. So our options are politely ask the man to leave or apologize to the man for his loss and explain to him how the charity will help folks like him. I mean, that, I think that's the better option. After you explain, the man says, your money won't bring my son back. He spits on your shoes and turns to leave. What a downer. You can cancel the event and pocket the donations if you do gain, train, corrupt, lose stress, or debt. No, no, we're not going to do that. That's, no, we're not corrupt. Otherwise, finish what you started, minus two personal stress. We're actually at two, so we go down to one. And let's take a look at the bottom. Mark your career. Uh, yeah, mark your career sheet with the results of the negotiations. If one occurred this year, we did that. Then apply the effects below. Successful negotiation gain promotion reward. Uh, no, unsuccessful negotiation. You decide that you need to work harder and gain new skills to be successful. Reward digital forensics or CPR. Okay, that's interesting. Um, 
Let's get those out. So the reward cards. Actually, let me just be free pause. Okay. Um, so digital forensics or CPR? I feel like considering my, my luck, CPR is probably gonna be the better one. So let's take a look. Put that back. And let's see what happens. I'm going. Once per negotiation during the terror phase only, you may convert once, kill hostage to save hostage. Oh, this would have been great last time. You completed your emergency responder training. You never know when a hostage might need to be resuscitated. That is true. So keep that in mind. Take away the career to your three one. I'm impersonal. Put those away. Um, the Seavers, one of them escaped, but I don't think we're going to, she's not going to show up again and take more people hostage, so. Seavers are gone. And yeah, that is the end of year three. Um, yeah, it's going terrible, but, um, yeah, I'm still enjoying it. Well, I'm bad at this game. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Play well.